Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, of course, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I haven't done this one before. I'm going to make steak tips with mushrooms, onions, and peppers for a get-together tonight. And we're going to use the sous vide, and then we're going to finish it off on my uh, griddle. I'll be right back, show you how I'm going to do this. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from Fire and water. All right, guys, so I got three good size, uh, about maybe just a little over an inch and a quarter thick sirloin steaks. They were on sale at my local grocery store for like $5.99 a pound. When I have those, when I find those on sale like that, I usually buy a bunch of them just because I like sirloin. It's got a very good flavor to it. And even though it can be kind of tough, when you use sous vide to cook it, you can tenderize it just perfect. And it, it gives you the, the, both the great uh, texture, you can tenderize it, and you get that really beefy flavor from the sirloin. Because it's a working muscle, it, it it's, uh, really gets a really uh, more of a beefy flavor to it. So that's what we're gonna use today. So I got three of these good sized sirloin steaks. We're gonna sous vide them at 134 degrees for about five hours. And what that's gonna do, is gonna cook it perfectly all the way through, about a medium rare. It's gonna tenderize because we're doing five hours. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna cut them into cubes and we're gonna season them up. And then we're gonna griddle, put them on the griddle with uh, just some regular uh, white mushrooms onions and peppers and we're going to season it up with my fire and water cooking edible creations uh, black garlic and coffee seasoning it's going to make these just perfect real simple real easy to do like i said the sirloin steak is going to work perfect because we're going to be able to tenderize it cook it perfectly to 135 degrees 134 degrees medium rare then sear it up on the flat top with our onions and peppers and mushrooms and it's going to be a great get together uh, potluck get together food so all right guys i'm going to go ahead and start tossing my steaks in the sous vide bath and i'll see you guys in five hours when i'm taking these out all right guys i'm back so it's been right at about four and a half hours so close enough to five for me. I need to get this stuff cooking so that we can head on over to our get together or to go into a Halloween party tonight. So uh, this is one of my steaks here. You can see it's in the bag, core still. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. We're gonna pat it dry just like we normally would. I wanted to show you, I already cut up my vegetables, but I just wanted to show you, I, I cut them up really big. So all my onions and peppers are really big chunks. I really don't have a whole lot um, in there. I wanted it to be more meat than just vegetables. So I got about one medium onion, one full green pepper, and some smaller uh, red, yellow, and orange peppers. And then I just pretty much cut the mushrooms right in half, if you can see that. So just bigger chunks. And we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get that stuff cooking while we're cutting up the uh, meat. I'm gonna cut the meat into about two inch cubes. We're actually gonna put it on the grill here, the griddle, and I'm gonna use this Andre's brush on steak sauce as kind of our sauce, since it, it's one of those sauces that needs to be cooked, especially cooked with the meat. It's gonna, I think it's gonna actually work really well. We're gonna use my black garlic and coffee seasoning. This is my original packaging so i got some of these i got to use up so that's what we're going to use i'm going to season both the uh, meat and the vegetables with that so black garlic coffee salt pepper onion powder some other seasonings in there so i'm going to go ahead and toss the uh vegetables on there get them going and then we're going to cut this meat up and I'll be right back. There you go, guys. Just so you can see, I just put this down, put a little bit of oil on there. It's about medium-high heat. 
Like I said, I want to get these cooking before I put the meat on. I want the meat to go on last. Because what I'm going to be doing is cooking this up and then tossing it in the uh, in a uh, crock pot to keep warm while we're at our get together. You're going to want to use a good amount of oil on these because mushrooms tend to uh, suck it up. So I'm going to get these spread out. Keep an eye on these cooking. And I'm going to run over there and chop up the meat into chunks. Put them back in that bowl I was using. And we'll be back. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here on just this one. Because I'm going to have to move quick to get this all cooked up. Got my vegetables are cooking over there. Got that all dried off. We're going to cut this into chunks. It doesn't have to be exact, but I want it to be good sized chunks. Not too big, not too small. You can do about an inch, inch and a half or so. Just like this. Don't want it to be too small because I want people to get a good chunk of meat. And I don't want these to overcook when they're on the griddle. So I want these to still be medium rare. And I'm going to leave most of the fat on here. I might cut off a big chunk like that because we don't need that. Something that's not going to be very pleasant. Like I said, guys, I don't want them super, super big, but I don't want them really small either because I want them to kind of stay medium rare. All right, I'm going to get the rest of these cut up, and I'll see you guys back over at the griddle. All right, guys, so I got all my steak pieces all cut up here. So I'm gonna, I turned the burner down on this side. And this is still screaming hot. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some oil down. Go ahead and toss my meat on. And this is going to be a fairly fast cook, guys, because remember, it's already cooked. So all we need to do is sear this up. So I'm going to put this a little bit more seasoning. Now I'm going to take this. Brush on steak hot sauce from Andrea's. Probably about a three two thirds of a cup. And then we're just gonna cook this stuff up. Do a nice quick sear. Mix it all up without overcooking it. I'm going to get this in a bowl, take a bite, and then we're going to get this packed up so we can go. All right, guys. I just kind of want to show you how this turned out. See that? Whew. Still hot. I'm going to cut one of these in half, just so you can see. It's still, eh, I would say more medium than medium rare, but still really good. Nice flavor, got the black garlic and coffee in there. This actually was pretty good. Works out well for a sauce for that. Nice color, nice sear. Ready to go. Mm -mm -mm. Well, hopefully this gives you an idea how to use your sous vide and your griddle together. Sous vide the meat, just take it out and I give it a nice quick sear. Toss it in with some other vegetables, and you got a nice quick meal. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out fireandwatercooking.com. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations, Sauces, and Seasonings anywhere you buy them. Amazon, Walmart, 
on our website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next fire and water cooking video.